Hello agents. I've got another comprehension mission for you today. Listen carefully, I've got some tasks for you to do afterwards. Today we're going to be reading Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where he had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought that it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but nobody was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where it came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. At night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything they would need and together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rode south for many days and nights with the boys telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. They floated through good weather and bad when the waves were as big as mountains until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again as the boy helped him out of the boat. The boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own, and the more he thought, the more he realised that he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost, he was just lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and he headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories, because there was no one to listen, except the wind and the waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see the penguin. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. I love that story, but it leaves me with some questions, like what were the wonderful things that the boy and the penguin were talking about on the way home? What would a penguin find wonderful? And when they packed their bag, what did they put inside? It says in the story they packed everything they would need. What sort of things would they need for that kind of journey? And it makes me think of questions like, if you did lose a penguin, what might you put on the poster that you might hang in the lost and found office? What kind of person would have lost a penguin anyway? But most of all, I really wonder how this penguin came to be at the boy's door. What had happened before this story started? Maybe you can help me answer some of these questions. I've got some important missions for you today.